Factsverse presents… Decades after his father mysteriously disappeared, a man made a disturbing discovery in his basement. George Carroll was born in 1934. He served in the Korean War from 1950 to 1953. By 1961, he was living in Lake Grove, Long Island, New York. He lived in his home on Olive Street with his wife Dorothy and their four children, Patricia, Jean, Stephen, and Mike. In 1961, his oldest daughter Patricia was nine years old. His youngest son Mike was less than a year old. The children didn't know back then that their lives would be changed forever. There were a few world events that made 1961 a year to remember. John F. Kennedy was inaugurated as the 35th President of the United States in January 1961. In April 1961, Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first person to travel to space. It was also the year that George Carroll disappeared from his family home, never to be seen again. When George went missing, Dorothy told her children that their father went out to buy cigarettes and he never came home. This was strange because George left his wallet behind. Mike heard this story about his father growing up, but he never bought it. Why would his father go to the store without his wallet? Growing up, Mike and his siblings asked Dorothy questions about their father often. She never wanted to talk about him, she often told them to stop asking her questions. There were also rumors about George's disappearance. Some people believed that George left his family and moved to Korea. Others believed something more sinister. There was a rumor that George was buried beneath the basement in the family home that was constructed around the time George vanished. What people found strange was that nobody had ever filed a missing person report for George. Because of this, the authorities never knew that he had disappeared. Even though the family had no answers regarding George's whereabouts, they managed to move on with their lives. Dorothy met a man named Richard Darris shortly after George disappeared. He moved into the family home and they were married. Shortly after, the couple had a baby boy. Sadly, this was not Dorothy's happily ever after, and her marriage to Richard fell apart. Dorothy suspected Richard of being unfaithful during the late 70s. She asked him to leave the home, and they were legally divorced in 1983. Richard left the home and moved to Mexico. He met and married a woman, but that didn't last either. In 2000, his wife requested a temporary order of protection. Richard died in June 2018 at the age of 77. Dorothy died in 1998, and when she passed away, her son Mike bought the family home on Olive Street. He and his siblings always wondered if their father was out there somewhere. Close to 20 years after buying his family's home, Mike wondered if the rumors of his father being buried in the basement might actually be true. In the mid-2010s, Mike decided to dig up his basement to see if the rumors were true. He was digging in the wrong spot, and he had to stop. It was dangerous for him because the house was ready to cave in. He had no choice but to stop his search. Mike and his siblings refused to give up on searching for their father, though. Mike called in a group of experts who could show him how to dig in the basement safely. He did all of the hard work himself by lifting each piece of the floor piece by piece. Mike brought in an expert who worked with ground-penetrating radar. The machine could take scans below the surface to see if there was anything in the basement and the machine discovered a strange mass about six feet under the concrete. Mike and his sisters called in a psychic. He remembers seeing a spirit in the house, and he says that he saw a man standing outside the bathroom one day. He wanted to ask the psychic if there was a spirit in the house. He was willing to do whatever it took to find out what happened to his father. When a paranormal investigator went into the basement, he pointed out an area where he felt energy. Sadly, shortly after, Mike had a stroke, so now it was up to his adult sons, Michael Jr. and Christopher, to continue with the search of their grandfather's home. Finally, the boys found something in the basement, and they couldn't wait to tell their father. He did his best to get down to the basement to see what they had uncovered. They found human remains. The boys immediately called the police. A DNA test was performed on the bones, and they discovered that yes, the bones belonged to George Carroll. Mike's father. Mike finally had the answers he'd been searching for his whole life. According to the medical examiner, George died from blunt force trauma to the head. According to the psychic that visited the home, George was hit in the head with a pipe and buried alive. 
Mike and his family they don't know if any of that was actually true, but they were thrilled that they found their father. They were finally able to give him the proper burial that he deserved. What's the creepiest thing you've ever found at your house? Tell us in the comments below and subscribe for more.